Good evening, Team Riven. Our lesson for today is I will teach you how to install your own Junos Juniper Laboratory using free softwares. The question you got to ask yourself is why do you need to learn Juniper Junos iOS when in fact you already know Cisco? I get this question asked from me a lot. So one of the most common answers would be job security. This is a job posting recently posted in US. It says they're looking for team leader network support engineering. Most likely this is either a large organization or an ISP. As you can see, you need to have a deep understanding of Cisco iOS and Juniper iOS. Now why is that? As you can see, there it is. This is a data center more or less a large organization. This would be a Juniper router. As you can see, it's not your typical Cisco router, which is a smaller ones. So Juniper routers are targeted to bigger organizations, data centers, and multinational corporations. These are generally core routers. All right, so let's get started. The first of which is you need to download and install GNS3. Here's the installer. I already done that. So here's my installed, newly installed GNS3. It's got nothing on it. Okay. Second of which, you need to download Oracle VirtualBox. You have several versions right here. So I already downloaded one. It's just the website right there. And I have it running over here okay so after you install all of them these are the things you need to do no download then again virtual box now this is one of the hardest things you could uh, hardest step is to build and compile a BSD Unix kernel and install the latest Juni Juno software now doing this takes around two to three hours and you got to know Unix, not just Linux. But fortunately, Team Ribbon compiled this stuff for you. So you just have to download or ask from our office the image. So this would be the compiled image. We will share this over the internet. But right now, I have extracted this and I have this J1 folder. So what I need to do is, I would open this from inside virtual box I just double click this um, file and you will notice that I have my Juno Juno's router over there this is it now just to have some sort of um, protection I need to clone this just to have um, a backup s sort of in case some shit happens I will clone this I'll say Junos clone 2 just go on next yeah a full clone would yeah a full clone would be good click on clone now I have two Junos, uh, Junos devices here the next step is to have um, GNS3 talk to Juniper alright but before you do that, you need to check on the LAN over here. So network adapters. So it's one is not, um, the other one is not attached. So we need to configure some of that. Adapter one, not attached. Um, let's just say internal network. Okay. This one is not, that's good. This one is also internal network. Just click on OK. Now for the other one, this one is not um, internal network. This one is internal network as well. Click on OK. And that would be it. Okay, so you have your virtual box over here. Now I'm going to GNS3. In GNS3, 
I need to go to edit preferences okay I click on virtual box over here now first of which you need to test these values over here and you should see a green success indicator after which you go to virtual box guest type in the name of the identifier Junos one okay for the VM list this would be it raise this down to six because normal Juniper router has six interfaces remove this one check check and check and you need to save this there we go now create a second Juni Juno so that we can run two routers okay and apply it to the second clone so this is the reason you need to clone it still the same settings over there and you click on save and click on apply over here and one more there okay so right now I put this aside or just just leave it around here now let's try if we had a successful installation alright so click the router symbol over here so you can see the Junus is not yet activated, so we'll need to do some zero, um, some sort of troubleshooting. Okay, the next step will be clicking this one. Now, as you can see, I have Cisco routers and a VirtualBox guest. Notice that I do not choose Juniper router here because this is not Quemu, but rather a VirtualBox guest. So I click my Cisco route, drag my Cisco route around here. Okay, that would be R2. I drag a switch. I drag a switch around here. Uh, VirtualBox guest. There's my Juno's router. Now just to change the symbol to make it look like a router. It'll be good. Okay, um, yes, okay, got yeah, router, Juno's router here, change the positions, I put in a switch, alright, and I would now try to connect both of them, connect the Cisco, oops, sorry, yeah, I forgot to configure the interfaces for this one. Just typical, give it two fast Ethernets. After which, now you can connect it using LAN. Okay. Now click the label button. Now you have the routers connected to each other. Let's run the Junus now. So what you need to do is to, you need to start Junos. Yeah, just right clicking it and pressing start. After you see the start, you should see a green symbol over here. I can now click console. So as you can see, Juniper is still booting on. While it's still booting on, you can also turn on your Cisco router and press on console so now you have two different operating systems two of the most popular data center operating systems where you can start configuring okay so notice in Cisco that if you want to configure you press config T right in Junos, things are a bit different, as you can see later on. Okay, so you need to log in as um, root. Hold on, it's still booting up. Okay, as you can see, we have now logged in in Junos. If you want to start configuring, you have to say CLI or command line interface. 
Okay, so for the next video, I will teach you how to run Junos iOS as compared to Cisco. But for now, our goal was just to install Junos in our GNS3. Thank you. So if you have more questions, please go to the Facebook page of Riven IT and like us our page. This is our page and this would be our website. It's not yet loading. Anyway, so thank you for watching the videos. Hope you watch for the next set of instructions. Thank you.